This spring, I met with traumatized Tibetan youth recently escaped from Tibet, where they faced suppression of Tibetan language, increased mass surveillance, intimidation, arbitrary arrest, and torture. Well, China has committed to the UN to better protect religious freedom and to respect rights, there's no evidence of change. Tibetans continue to protest and self-immolate. Mm -hmm. The U.S. ambassador visited Tibet, raised concerns about religious freedom, and called on China to recommence the dialogue on a middle way agreement. Will this government follow suit and encourage China to pursue the dialogue with the envoys of the Dalai Lama? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for Edmonton Strathcona for her question, for her hard work on this issue, and for the question asked earlier this week about this important issue by the NDP. We are deeply concerned about the human rights situation in China, including restrictions on the freedoms of Tibetans. In fact, my parliamentary secretary raised these concerns with Chinese legislators while in China last week. We call on the government of China to respect the human rights of Tibetans and to engage in a substantive and meaningful dialogue with the Dalai Lama.